Hello, my name is James Blackman from RCR Wireless. I'm joined here today by Jason Tu from ZTE. Uh, Jason is the um, principal scientist for NFB and SDN at ZTE. Jason, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Today, ZTE has launched the, the world's first um, 5G network slicing uh, demo, end-to-end. -end. I wonder if you could talk me through what this means, what you've done today. Yes. So actually, we understand the slicing is already deployed uh, for years, but end-to-end -end slicing, it is the first one to deploy it uh, for lab test. Because from end-to-end, -end we have to introduce wireless parts, uh, including front hall, middle hall, back hall, and uh, CU, DU, also the core network. And also we have to introduce the fixed network scans to the slicing. So that is the full size of end-to-end. -end. Okay. Secondly, uh, we can provide, or we can include a virtualized element and the latency element, I mean the PNF into the slice. So we can make the uh, orchestration from end-to-end, -end, no matter it's a wireless or fixes no matter it's the transmission or the core network. The third one is that we are using carrier DevOps, which can make the continued integration and continued deployment for the whole slicing life cycle. I mean, just on that point, uh, carrier DevOps is, seems to be a, a highlight of this. I mean, I wonder if you can explain the difference between carrier DevOps and IT DevOps, and, and are they compatible? Yes, of course. Uh, carrier DevOps is coming from the IT DevOps is introduce the continued integration and continued development concept to our system. But we have to provide a carry grade service for our customer because our biggest customer is our operator. They have to provide a, a 5 nine reliability and also for the re regulation service and also for the S uh, critical SRA for their customer. So in this case, uh, we enhance the IT DevOps to our system. So to provide a carry grid uh, service level to our customer. The first one is that in our development environment, we have a lot of uh, telecom element to be dropped. For example, we have a 3G or 4G element, transmission, core network, or even some fixed network. So we can have a lot of choice to set up the blueprint. Secondly, we have a lot of a template. So, if, for example, we have a template for VoT, we have a template for IoT, we have a template for 3G, 2G, or even combo of 3G and 4G. So, in this case, operator can use these development tools to set up their own network very quickly and easily. This will shorten the time to market. Okay, and just to, just to, if we zoom out for a moment and 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 look at the broader market, this event is all about 5G. But 5G seems to be a technology which is in search of an application uh, to some extent. And in the background we have the OTTs, the likes of Facebook, circling around the, the infrastructure, infrastructure part of this market. I wonder where does this end up? How does this resolve itself? Are these, are these sectors which will converge in time? Yes. To my personal understanding, uh, there will be no more OTT and the dump pipe in the 5G state. Because with the introduce of NLV and SDN, the 5G core network or most of the 5G element is going to be application on the cloud, just like the OTT. And the 5GC are using the, uh, the IT architecture. For example, container technology, for example, service-based architecture. In this case, uh, no matter 5G or OTT application, they are both application on the cloud, use the almost the same architecture for application. So in this case, they'll be merged, especially from the architecture level. Vertical industry is just, uh, okay, uh, industry for uh, pop, uh, 5G application and OTT application. It's just the two applications on the cloud, is that same? And that's an interesting point. Just, just, just on that, on the, on the carrier DevOps, I wonder if you can, you can explain to me the difference between carrier DevOps and IT DevOps, and you know whether they are mutually exclusive or they're compatible. Okay, so carrier DevOps is coming from the IT DevOps. They want to introduce the continued integration, the continued de 
deployment concept to our telecom networks. And uh, as the uh, requirements of the telecom industry, we have to provide a critical reliability and uh, uh, sorry, time latency for the whole network. So we have to pre pro provide a carry grade service for our customer. So we introduce a carry grade uh, guarantee for the whole system. The first one is that in our development tools, the development library, we can find a lot of uh, components, which is specially for the telecom. For example, uh, transmission, for example, the 2G, 3G, and 5G wireless, core network, and fixed access. Those are components in our library. The second one, we have a lot of template blueprint for the whole uh, telecom network, for example, VoT, for example, uh, IoT, and uh, maybe next time 5GC, or maybe, okay, whatever we can make. So all this certification template will help our customer easily deploy a live network, maybe in one, several days. So this makes the time to market shorter. And uh, we also have a very good software-based uh, testing tools to help our customer to test their uh, online designed network. So it will help them to test the reliability, performance, feature of whole network. It was quite automatically. Okay, the last one is the big data. We have an artificial intelligent engine, the big data system, which can help the customer optimize their network and find the problem of the network and also give the recommendation to, to enhance their network. So in this case, it's a um, DevOps, but it's optimized to provide a carry great network for the operator. Jason, thanks very much. Thank okay. you for joining me. Thank you.